Hello everyone, my name is Aparna. I'm from Princeton and today I'm here on behalf of Pangeo. Pangeo is a community that promotes open science, that promotes scalable and reproducible science as well. It is a software ecosystem that uh, contains a number of open source packages. Before I talk about the Pangeo ecosystem, I want to highlight that there are so many different types of users using Pangeo, and I hope that continues to grow. Whether you want to apply machine learning on CMIP models, or if you're wondering if you can reproduce a figure such as this from IPCC Chapter 9, or you're just looking for usable and scalable ways to apply compute. For all of this, the separation of data storage and compute becomes key. I want to focus on this figure here, which is a cloud-native scientific data analytics ecosystem. This data storage here and the compute is separated from storage, which means you could have one copy of data and different ways of analyzing this data by different people. So for example, as a user, you may be just working on your analysis through a Jupyter Notebook, which is an interactive way of writing your analysis, for example, in the language Python. And then you interact with packages such as X-Array and Dask to make your analysis go faster. As you can see, the data provider can still support data proximate computing without actually supporting a compute infrastructure themselves. So overall, we are focusing on less data movement. In fact, no data movement when you have object storage here and compute separated from that, which is really amazing to analyze data. It becomes more enjoyable that way. So X-Array, you can think of it as a very simple gateway to explore different types of data. For example, NetCD of data sets or a cloud optimized ZAR data set, for example, wherever it is, whether it is in your local uh, institution or if it is in the cloud. I also like the fact that it's easy to code, easy to get started. You are just coding it like the way you're saying it. Here's an example of selecting time. Here, I want to highlight that we have cloud-hosted CMIP6 datasets, both in Amazon and in Google. Here are the links to these uh, cloud holdings. Also, a big shout out to every organization listed here, especially the Earth System Grid Federation and the modeling centers that produces original CMIP data, without which these analysis-ready and cloud-optimized datasets are not possible. So thank you. It's often also difficult to locate what type of data sets we actually need for our analysis. And that's where the intake ESM data catalogs come into picture. Here is a quick example to show you how simple a search can be and how easily this blends in with your analysis because each of the data set that's resulted from this search can become an X-ray data set object in your analysis that's running in your Jupyter Notebook. Okay, now that we have some basic components laid out, you will be surprised to know that with just a few more lines of code, you can also run your analysis faster using Dask. So you can multi-Dask, scale it up or scale it down depending on the actual resources that you got. And I also really like the fact that this Dask package integrates very well with the existing analysis packages that you may already have in your notebook. Well, I hope this was helpful. I just want to thank you for your attention and leave you with all of these pointers so you can do a deep dive and try out Pangeo. If you have any issues, please do open up a GitHub issue or start a discussion. Once again, thank you so much, each one of you.